Okay, let me make a big shout out to Joseph Williams, who uh, one of our subscribers, and man, he's just come through. He's a local fisherman here in South Auckland, and he has um, well, his, uh, speechless. Let's have a look in this chili bin. He gave us this. Isn't that bloody beautiful? <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. Look. Huge. Got four snapper in here. Freshly caught today. We're gonna to cook them up today and show some respect and um, cook it the way it deserves it. Oh, the way it deserves to be cooked. Look, and Holy we gutted heck. it and cleaned it. Cleaned and gutted. Jeez. Absolutely amazing. After a long day out fishing, then he yeah. got it and cleaned it for us. Yeah. First time I met this guy, and he just said, uh, Man, I'm going fishing. Come and um, uh, you sit and pick up some fish. Or, Hell yeah, I'm just going to make a cool ass video and uh, cook these up. Yep, shout out to Joseph Williams. Thank you, Joseph Holy. Williams. To your wife, you and your wife and your kids. Yeah, I've got a mean house. Yeah. Over here. From ours to yours, say love it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Easy Eats with Alnes. That's me. Um, like I said uh, earlier, before from uh, the, one of the Tongan brothers out there. Look at this. This fabulous snapper, freshly caught in the, the seas of. Uh, Tamaki Makoto, <laughs> man, I'm so wrapped up this fish. He, he was a character, so giving. Um, I want to see what you do with this. And um, when we got talking, he was saying what he usually does with the fish is he fillets them and used to fillet for oka and he smokes the um, the bones. And that's what I would usually do with uh, a snapper like this. I, I rarely get snapper like this, um, this fish, but. Uh, yeah, we're going to try something different. I'm going to try, well, I want to grill today and that's one of the fish. Another fish, there's a place in Odahu called Sam Wu's. They do this lovely Vietnamese style um, fried to find a, a way to recreate that, that flavor and taste. So that's what I'm going to do with the second fish. The, this big one here, I'm just going to grill it the way I know how to grill it. So I'm going to get trimming off these fins and um, cutting through to the bone marinating it with some uh, fish sauce and then uh, stuffing it with a few herbs. I don't want to do too much with the fish because it's so fresh and you don't want to mix that flavor. You, you, you want the taste of the fish, this beautiful fresh fish, this snapper, New Zealand snapper. Does not get any better than this, look at that. I want to showcase this because we hardly ever eat fresh snapper like this, ever. I mean, if we're eating um, fish, usually, one of these. <laughs> this is the usual fish we eat um, over here. Well, most, mostly me, but my kids don't like this. Uh, <laughs> nothing wrong with this, I'll, I'll, I'll eat, eat that any day. But when we get a snapper like this, holy heck, with the size of this, I can't stop. Man, it's like I caught the fish myself, but no, nah, not really. such a big fish, uh, I, I've chosen to cook it whole. I feel like it uh, shows more respect to what we've received. Um, I don't want to chop it up into pieces and find little pieces. I thought, nah, when we get something like this, you got to cook it whole. Now, it's such a big fish, um, you need to light up the big grill, right? Yeah. Wrong. Today, we're using the portable Korean barbecue that was given to yeah. me for Christmas. Nice, small, big enough for the big fish, not the big grill today. 
Okay, while well, coals are getting nice and hot out there, we're gonna uh, stuff this fish with some lovely herbs that we've got. We've got some fennel that I picked from outside. This is growing, what do you call it? Growing like wildfire outside. Heaps of the stuff. It smells so good. If you're wondering about the smell of this, it's like uh, licorice, like uh, celery licorice kind of taste and smell. You got coriander, that's pretty common. And spring onion, and one lemon that I want to slice up and uh, chop into and fill up this cavity right here. to 20 minutes we're at a medium heat I just added coal to the red hot coals that were already there the smells from this incredible I don't know if you can see it kind of that's uh, juices dripping into the hot coal. Man, it just mm. permeates the air. Now that's eats. <laughs> Easy eats. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that. Sides, let's cook the tail and the head nicely. And we'll leave the middle part there. Okay, we've transferred the fish from outside to inside now. And to be honest, it was a mission flipping this thing. It took us, took the both of us to, um, you know, hold it so it wouldn't break. Because if you can see here, I might have gone too far in the tail. And if I was uh, a little rough of it, because it's so fresh, and um, I would have broken off. And it's that fresh that this, the flesh is just crumbling. So beautiful. But anyway, look at that nice grill that we got. Check out the beautiful char on it. That's flavor. Now I'm just gonna try and open it here. Oh, it's sticking. Oh no, please, please, please. Please be good, please be good. I thought these grill things were made to not stick. Well, that's all right. Oh yeah. Feel the power, mm -hmm. eh? Look at that. That's a beautiful grill. That's beautifully grilled. Yeah. Yeah. So, come up, so this is spring onion and ginger. And I julienned them as, as, as well as I could with what I got. And yeah, it's a bit chunky. They're supposed to be uh, matchsticks, but I, I got a few logs in here. That's all right, it'll still work. Just lay them on the fish, like so. Oh 
man, it smells already. So this just comes straight off the grill. Good teamwork getting this in, and it's still hot. Okay, grand finale. Galaxy brown from Australia that goes on to one more squeeze of lemon. There you go guys, Owl's Grilled Snapper. Time to dig in to Owl's Grilled Fish. And I've got a special guest uh, for this video, one who eats fish almost all the time, and who better to judge the taste of the fish than my mum. Mum eats uh, whole fish all the time. Just loves the stuff and you know, I can't really give an honest opinion because I, I've hardly eat snapper, but mum eats snapper all the time. So, enjoy it, mum. Dig in. I thought it was weeds outside. <laughs> it's only a dill. Look at this. Juice, 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 mm. juice. Look at that steam coming out. Mm. And the skin is squished with juice. <laughs> Oh, that's <laughs> so um, out of 10, what's your rating, uh, Dama? 10. Oh! <laughs> How do you feel about that? Your mum just gave you a 10. No, I'm not surprised. Fight! Now that eats. Alright, let's stick it. Thank you, Joseph. Mm. Mm. So fresh. Mm. <coughs> what does it taste like? Clean as taste. No fishy taste at all. It's um, crumbly as one little soft touch and it breaks and the grill mark on the skin. My smoky mm. flavor. Mm. Oh, mm. so good. Yeah. Uh -oh. It is phenomenal. 
Mm -hmm. We've got fennel. <laughs> with fennel, coriander, and spring onion. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Fennel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> what is your best friend? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, fish number two. We saved the uh, pan-sized fish, the, the small one for, uh, for me and wifey. So it's a fish for two. We've got all our ingredients here. We're gonna shallow fry the fish into oil, uh, but we're gonna season of salt and MSG. Up to you if you wanna use MSG or not, you can, you can leave it out, but um, man, it just enhances the flavor. It's, it's so good. Um, but you know, I believe everything in moderation, it's okay. You know, just like salt, too much salt, no good. So, I'm using MSG, but you don't have to, okay? Um, all the stuff over here, you know, fish sauce, oyster sauce, um, this is stuff I, I already have in my, um, my pantry, you know? Except for corn flour, I've gone out and, and bought some, uh, Corn flour, and I had to refill and get some more oyster sauce. But otherwise, all this stuff is pretty easy, you know, garlic, ginger, and stand for wages. That's us, let's start. Um, if you had pepper, use pepper as well. I, I've got no pepper. So uh, a couple of tablespoons of pepper to season as well on your fish. Good to go. Ready? There we go. And oh, beautiful. That's it. Five to seven minutes each side. I've kind of left the fins on. So I want those, uh, it's like chips when it's uh, deep fried. Crunchy. Yeah, nice and crunchy, you can eat the things. So yeah, I, I never took them off. When it's shrunken down to about half its size or about maybe three quarters, it's ready to dump onto your fish. Okay, all right, there we go. Here it is, guys, our dinner for two. Pan size snapper. Uh, we've got some sides here. We've got some sliced cucumber. Got um, yesterday's 
Fali for Fali. And the everyday white rice. So yeah, I can't wait to get into this. I can't wait to smash this. It's gonna be delish. Good. Like chips. Rudy. You ready to eat, hun? Yes. Mm -hmm. Come, join me. I trust. Just like chips. All right, we've gotten to this part of the snapper. This is what's left. Bye bye, snapper. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. I'm gonna finish this head off, but not on camera. <laughs> Still a bit shy to show you how I dismantled this head, but yeah, I'm gonna carry on and get through that head. Cucumber, rice, let me just say a big. Shout out and thank you to Joseph Williams for supplying the fish for our video. Man, we're so kind and man, we're so humbled by your uh, generosity. Your generosity. Um, so grateful for the fish that uh, you've given us. We cooked it as best as we can. Well, that's my full powers um, on these fresh ass fish that uh, you gave us. Uh, so thank you, Joseph Williams. Thank you to all our subscribers for coming through. If you're new to our, um, if you're new to our channel, man, hit that subscribe button and uh, like the videos. That's the first time I've ever said that. But um, yeah, we, uh, we love the support and we love uh, making these vids and um, sharing uh, a piece of our home with you. So, in saying that, we'll see you next vid. Take care. So far from the top is.